Hi, my name is Jay. I'm a dispatcher in Seamark and I've been working here for the past four years. My sole purpose is to receive incidents from call handlers, assess them, risk assess them, uh, and pass uh, what I feel is appropriate um, to police officers. And along the other side of the room, you've got call handlers who do an absolutely fantastic job. Their knowledge is unspeakable. Uh, anything that comes their way, they will deal with. They have just the best foundations of knowledge you can ever imagine and they do a fantastic job to make sure that everyone can get an answer. Although it might, people might feel that it takes uh, a long time to get through on 101, that's because there's a lot of people ringing, there's a lot of demand, but everyone who's answering that phone is doing the best they can to make sure that everyone gets the answer that they want. A lot of the time it's about managing people's expectations as well. There can sometimes be 70 people at once wanting a police officer to go around, but with only 10 police officers on an area, we've just got to make sure that people know what's happening. And if someone has to go as far as calling 999 or 101 in order to speak to the people who are there to protect them, they must feel so vulnerable uh, that they can't protect themselves. So it's about recognising that everyone that rings us has got their own story. They're all vulnerable, no matter how you look at it, people who ring the police need us for something. And we have to live up to the expectation that we need it. But the worst thing of all is when you've got someone that cannot see where you're coming from, that abuses you, and that just cannot take no for an answer. But because we are who we are, because we have already left and made that commitment of leaving our families at home to come into work and speak to people that we don't know, that we have been on the phone with for 30 seconds and already know more than they've ever told anyone, yet they're still swearing and calling us all the names under the sun. It just goes to show how big a job we do. The best thing about working in Seamark is the camaraderie that we all have, uh, just the banter that we all have. And even when we have a distressing job, uh, we just come together as one team and support each other through it. Uh, my personal favourite is Rose Policing and Ops Support, uh, and that's where I feel I make the biggest impact. I have uh, a lot of time and don't want to seem big headed, but skill for AMPR. Uh, AMPR is where we use cameras around the county to disrupt and detect criminality in order to protect the most vulnerable. So by doing that, I'm giving back something to the people who have been affected by crime. Uh, I'm giving back to society uh, and trying to get those dangerous criminals off the road. Um, and it's not just stealing cars and you know fancy pursuits and everything like that that catches my eye. It's the in-depth digging, the drive that I've got to find things and just the drive that I've got to catch criminals to prevent people like elderly people, uh, but also domestic victims from getting uh, victimised and being victims of crime. If we get those most dangerous criminals off the road, then we're gonna have less crime. We're disrupting people using vehicles on the road. And it just goes to show through every result that we have, no matter if it's thefts from HGVs, uh, locking up domestic violence offenders who are driving their cars to get away. It just goes to show that people are protected as a result of what we do. As a force, we could not function without our colleagues. So it's a fantastic place to work and the job that we all do, no matter what it is, dispatcher or call handler, is important as any other job in the force.